Greetings to you viewers from across the globe. You're welcome to the show Viewpoint, where we discover perspectives and embrace dialogue. I'm your host, Odiawa AI for Video Media. You would do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us across various social media platforms. And don't forget to download the app, the Vigil app I mean, on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. On the show today, we will be talking about democratic cancer. Well, recent reports have seen uh, the NNPP, the New Nigeria People's Party, and the PDP, the People's Democratic Party, prospectively coming together with the intention of forming an alliance. Now, former Vice Chairman of the ruling uh, All Progressives Congress, the APC, Salihu Lukman, has cautioned uh, the current uh, president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and other chieftains against a culture of manipulating political contests through imposition. Now, saying unless there is a rethink, almost all the APC candidates for 2027 elections, which is in four years' time, may be produced through imposition. That is, that is uh, hence this uh, in, uh, perpetuation of this ideology they call the Godfatherism here, which is quite pronounced in our own part of the world when it comes to practicing our democracy. Now, in a write-up titled The Cancer Destroying Nigerian Democracy, which is actually where I took my cue of titling this show, Sari Ulukman actually said, and I quote, being loyal APC members, we must also appeal to all APC leaders, especially President Bola Ahmed Ashiwaju Tinubu, to resist the temptation of overindulging themselves with the false belief that they could continue to succeed to impose their choices on Nigerians. Actually, the case ought not to be so. APC leaders must humble themselves enough to, as much as possible, bring themselves down to the levels of the ordinary Nigerian and have a more listening ear. Now, inability to listen and have the needed humility to meet the expectation of Nigerians will strengthen the belief of leaders in unethical uh, practices of manipulating political contests. Now, as uh, Christian folks would say, both brothers and sisters, they would say, may this not be our portion in APC. Now, I take a cue from what he has actually said. Though in the ruling party, as we speak now, he has advised his own brethren in the fold. When I mean the fold, I mean the APC not to be quick to indulge in this imposition of what they want on the citizens. There will come a time they will, not longer, they, will no, they will no longer be comfortable with what you actually want to impose. It should be a suggestion. Do you want this? If they don't want, fine, they're not buying into it. You prefer other options. Not that you impose what you want because of what you stand to gain. Now, Lupin went further to say that it is a... Uh, Almost a return to the old uh, manner in which the PDP, as at then, the PDP era, where they actually structured a model of party organization under the then president, Olusegun Obasanjo, with a requirement of 100% uh, loyalty. It was quite pronounced during the PDP era, where they had to rule the country from the Obasanjo era up until the Yaradua era, where I think maybe that loyalty phase began to like dwindle particularly when the uh, Buhari administration came in. We're still going into that as we proceed in the discussion of uh, today's show, Democratic uh, Cancer. Now, without any attempt to reopen old wounds, the requirement of 100% loyalty was reasonable, uh, you know, for the graveyard silence, which was internally observed within the APC when Abdullahi, Uga uh, Abdullahi Umar Ganduje Abdullahi Omar Ganduje was proposed uh, by President Tinubu as the national chairman of the APC. Now, after Ganduje's successful emergence, there was also a graveyard silence even when Ganduje continued with the practice of freezing structures of the party. No meetings of uh, organs were taking place almost, uh, you know, for months. After the emergence of Dr. Ganduje as the APC national chairman, which actually ought not to be. Now, in the backing, uh, in now in backing this loyalty issue or saga, which has become a bone of contention, we could recall that as far back as May 29, 2007, the late President Umar Musa Yaradua, may his soul continue to rest in peace. Now, while delivering his inaugural speech, Umar Musa Yaradua 
while delivering his uh, inaugural speech to the nation, acknowledged that the election that brought him to power had shortcomings and undertook to set up a panel to examine the entire electoral process with a view to ensuring that the quality and standard of general elections is actually raised and thereby deepened in democracy. Now, if we follow up with this, we will say any proposal for electoral reform in the country or the nation at large as we speak must include stronger regulatory frameworks for the operation of political parties. And I think I take a cue of buying to that. Because if INEC is not to be unbundled to produce a political party's regulatory commission as proposed by the Justice Wires panel, then it should be strengthened to regulate the conduct of political parties in the elections. I think we should follow that from what I would say from my own opinion. Now, including getting parties also adhere to their own rules. You don't just go enacting rules and you'll find it difficult to stick to it because frankly speaking, as long as political parties in Nigeria are allowed to operate in a lawless manner, the problems of doctoring political contests will persist and the challenge uh, is, you know, it falls into this unscrambling uh, nexus connecting technical to politically motivated failures with a view to enhancing the integrity of elections within the nation. And when I mean within the nation, I'm talking about the 36 states of the Federation, which will continue to elude us as a nation. And how far and how far we will continue with all this? Now, in another turn of events, the National Working Committee Council of the New Nigeria People's Party, the NNPP, backed by the PDP presidential candidate, uh, in the 2023 elections, Atiku Abubakar, for a merger of opposition parties to displace the APC. Now, in addressing journalists at the FCT, acting national chairman Abba Ali, in his words, and I quote, the NNPP sees this call for Atiku Abubakar as patriotic and a welcome development, which we unreservedly commend him. Now, he went on to add that the NNPP has modifications to that collaboration being proposed by Atiku Abubakar. Now, it is their belief that such an arrangement should be all-encompassing and broad. Now, taking a cue from this, might we be reminded that the former vice president's call knows that this was a similar bold initiative which the opposition party signed up to in 2015 some years ago and it enabled the merger that led to the defeat of the ruling PDP as at that time, which brought in President Muhammad Buhari on the platform of the ruling APC. Now, Muhammad Buhari's uh, administration was chronicled with this defeat of the PDP in his time into power as at that civilian dispensation during that era. Now, Atiku Abubakar has now called for a merger of opposition parties as a way of checkmating the drive by the APC towards a one-party state and protecting the nation's democracy. Now, frankly speaking, it gets interesting because it's a case of first to do no de pain and second to do nine de pain. Pardon my local parlance here. But when PDP was having a field day, the APC wasn't having a field day. They were left in the cold without blankets to cover up. Now, it's their own turn having a fair share of this whole uh, atmosphere what it is to feel cold in such climate and they are looking or seeking for a measure that's why i say it gets interesting now currently at the moment studying the mood of the political atmosphere in the nation the nnpp and the pdp will welcome any initiative from any political party and oblige any invitation towards discussing any arrangements channeled i mean towards protecting the interests of the people and its democracy much more towards the much desired accelerated and sustainable adv uh, advancements of our nation well in my own view my own opinion i tend to buy into that because judging from statements comments and remarks which have been made from the likes of uh, the apc from my own observation despite the uh, sponsored crisis and challenges the nnpp and the pdp they seem to be confident that they will continue to provide necessary options in its political space, which they, I want to believe, are already exploring. This should do without a prejudice or teaming up with other interested parties and like minds 
towards democratic preservations in the nation, Nigeria at large. I'm Adiawa AI for Video Media, and the show is Viewpoints, where we discover perspectives and embrace dialogue. You will do well to subscribe to this channel and follow us across various social media platforms. Thanks for watching.